guys, it's Two Minator. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Dev Zenov's Dev, Dev Product Kit. So, yep, you have a beautiful stack of Robux when you click on it. And you're going to want to delete that delete me and do this. Drag the Dev Product Handler in the server script storage and put the shop GUI in the starter GUI. So now you got everything to work. I mean, you got everything set up. So now let's move on to the um, the game pass making part. So guys, once you're at um, your game or whatever at this place, click on these three little squares, and then right when you do that, just go to configure this place. Oh, and, and um, go to developer products and to create one new one, just do this, name it, you can add the price, and you can choose a file, but I'm not going to do that because I already made mine. So you're going to want to copy the ID and then go back to your game. And, um, yeah, go to the, um, where you put the shop GUI and choose a button. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to put the paste the ID in and um, this will not affect the name to change the name though change this to um, 3000 plus cash so um, like this yeah that's 3000 plus cash um, I will do this the same for the rest of them Okay, guys, we got everything set up. So now that that is you're, that's not all. That's definitely not all. Um, you have to go to where you left your dev product handler. So, um, you're not gonna about, not gonna care about this top part. You're only gonna care about these things. So, so these. This whole borderline right here, don't care about those, okay? So, um, this is a cash boost, okay? So, this is a health boost, this is a walk speed boost, and this is a gear giver. So, okay, let's say if I don't want a cash boost, don't actually use this. Just, um, if, if, okay, this thing actually doesn't have to go in order. So, um, doesn't really matter. It just syncs in with the uh, ID. So, if you don't want, if, you, if your um, thing doesn't include a health speed or whatever, um, just delete it. And if you want it, just delete it until, delete everything and the else part, the one below. So, like that. And so, it'll turn out like that, but I don't want that to happen. It just happens like that. So you're gonna wanna copy up the um, one that you wanna choose, the ID. That one is 3,000 plus cash. So then you paste in the ID and put in how much amount cash you want to give. And I wanna put in 3,000 plus cash. Um, okay, for the next set of things, okay, this one is health, okay. So this one is a health boost. So this one will be 50 health boost. So the normal Roblox in character has 100 health. So yeah, that's just so you know, cause you actually don't know how much like 50 means, you know? So just put that in and um, like, like so and yeah. I'll so for the sword, I mean, the uh, speed boost, paste in it, and so for the walk speed, um, I think the normal is like something, but I'm just gonna put 30 like that. Um, and so now for the last piece, a gear giver. So you have to put 
the gear in the server storage. So yeah, it doesn't if it if you want that to work. So um yeah, if you want, for example, two cash boosts, just copy this entire thing, like so, and do this, and yeah, and then you get double. But of course, I don't want to do that, so yeah. So now for the gear giver, you put the product ID, oh shoot, um, let me go back and get it, command C, like that, and put in the value of that. And there you go. Now, now you if you want a gear, put it in the server storage. And then after you put it in the server storage and whatever the name is. So let me show you. All right, guys. So I got a sword in my game. And oops, oh okay, that was weird. But you can now drag this into the server storage and close it up. Now when you go to dev product handler as you can see down on the second last code it says game.serverstorage.sword well you have to copy the name of it so yes command C that oh to do that just press enter or return and when you go in here you paste it command V or control V. I'm using a Mac, so it's command V for me. So, yep, there you go. It should work. All right, let's try this out. All right, so I'm gonna try test it out now. Okay, so once you go in, you, yeah, you're here. You don't have to claim the tycoon to do it. So, here, as you can see, we're gonna click down, and bam, it comes down. So this is um, if you're in um studio, it says this is a test purchase. Your account will not be charged. So yeah, that's what it says. Now when you buy, bam, 3k cash rewarded. So for health boost, I don't think um it shows, but um, of course you probably got it. So for the speed boost. Um, as you can see, I'm walking right now. And when you buy, kabam! You're super fast. You're super duper fast. I did not speed this up or anything, but yep, yeah, you're super, you're super duper fast. This was a test purchase. Of course, you know that. So now for the final one, the sword. Purchasing, and kabamo! You got it. You got the sword. So now you're literally a super mutant right now. So yes, um. Oh, I forgot to cover some things. So, since you walk too fast, it's like crazy, but if you buy a speed boost again, it stacks up. So, basically, if you buy, like, thousands of speed boosts, you're like a superhuman right now. I'm like Usain Bolt, but two times, I mean, five times faster. So, yeah. Um, I need to cover one one thing. So for um the money, for example, if you're using um Bariza, um Tycoon Kit, just I think it's called Money Storage or dot Money Storage, yeah, Money Storage. But um since we're using that Zenov Tycoon Kit, it works. But for example, whatever your leaderboard name is, is what um it will be called. So yeah. So if you did enjoy this video, please dominate that like button and um, subscribe for more. Um, and yeah, see you all in the next video. So this is how you earn free Robux. Legit. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.